Hey. How are you feeling? About the same. Snow back. Nope. But you don't go hunting vampires in the daytime. Why ain't he back? I don't know. I don't like how you look. Let me take you to the hospital. No, sir. I already told you. I don't need a goddamn hospital. You have any idea how many concussions I got back in my playing days? That's all this is. If that's all this is, shouldn't you be getting better by now? I am getting better. The hallucinations are gone. I think. You were hallucinating? Like a motherfucker. Suck, the other day when we were at the steakhouse and I was arming up to go into the authority, you didn't wonder why I was acting all crazy and, and more racist than usual? Of course I did. That's because, as far as I was concerned, Mama and Daddy were right there. Right there, whispering all kinds of hateful stuff in my ear, encouraging me to kill vampers. Like they was giving me some kind of pregame pep talk. Mm, fuck. One second. One second. One second. Suck, I can feel you looking at me. If you want to help, just press on my pressure point. Like Mama used to. Ah. Like this? Yeah. So harder. <laughs> That's good, Suck. You got Mama's hands. I do. You know what I wish? I wish that I'd have been hallucinating about somebody else. That any, anybody else was whispering all that hateful shit in my ear. And I hate that I put all those ideas on mom and daddy because they don't deserve it. Sometimes when people pass on, we forget all the bad stuff and only remember the good. Kind of like we make them perfect in our memories. So mom and daddy were racist? No. I'm saying that they had their faults, just like the rest of us. Oh. What kind of faults? Well, for starters, Mama was... She was scared of me. I mean, she loved me, but she couldn't accept that I was different. She was afraid of me up till the day she died. How do you know this? Same way I know everything I know. Fuck. You couldn't have told me this before? Thinking they were perfect was working for you. It made you try harder at everything you did. The only reason I'm telling you now is because I... It, it, don't say Warlow. Because you ain't going anywhere. I know. I just don't want you to feel guilty or ashamed or like you're somehow cheating on the memory of Mama and Daddy. Just because a little reality bursts into the fantasy. We can still love them. Mm -hmm. Even if we recognize that they ain't perfect. So... You are a lot smarter than I am. No, sweetie. He doesn't have as many concussions as all. Mm.